on the Fox on the Box, Beyonce Fox, midday radio personality at WGCI. And I encourage you to join the Media Communications Association at Kennedy King College, where you too can learn all of the different aspects of radio and the music industry. I have three of my interns, Daisy Robinson, a.k.a. Daisy Deshell, Ashley Turner, a.k.a. Tracy T., and Abigail Thompson. They are all committee members on the Media Communications Association. So you should join. Let me tell you about a group I know called the Media Communication Association going on at KKC, a group of young folks. Now, they was drug dealers and scam artists, but they got their lives together and are heading towards careers in radio and TV and all types of things of that nature. So if you want to be involved and you want to get your life straight, straight and do some great things like your man Tony Sko. Get with the Media Communication Association at KKC. Now they do have their meetings in the old church on the south side and the fan is broken behind and there ain't got no water but that's all right. You will be a part of a group that is headed for success. It's the MCA, the Media Communication Association at KKC. I think my cousin uh, Larry worked there. He the dude to be wearing a head net in the meetings all the time. Peace. What's up, everybody? I'm Kennard Carter, music director of 107.5 WGCI. And yes, we are live in the studio. And you see the little blinking light coming in the background because we're live in the studio while Beyonce Fox does her show. Now, I'm actually Beyonce's boss in a weird kind of way, right? Yep, yep. <laughs> I'm assistant program director, music director of GCI. And uh, I actually used to be a jock. That's really how I began, uh, began in radio is uh, I've developed a true love for radio just by being on the air and being a jock and doing weekends, but yeah, I've done right here. everything here. Been trying I'm talking about everything. Too. Promotions, engineering, um, programming now, uh, do voiceovers, do a number of things, and I suggest yeah, I you do to too, and you learn the number of aspects oh that's God. involved in broadcasting, and maybe right, you can get a good Thank start you. by being a part of the Media Communications Association of Kennedy King College. In fact, if you do that, maybe you get a chance to come down here and kick it with us. It ain't all kicking it, though, right? We do a lot of work. So maybe you can come on down and be a part and build your status, build your resume up, and be a part of what we do at WGCI. Hey, this is Keith Urquhart, Assistant Production Director for WGCI, WVAZ, and Inspiration 1390. I want to talk to you about the Media Communication Association at KKC. Now, if you're young and you're trying to get in the business, one of the key things that you need to know is who you know that gets you to where you're going. Whether you're trying to be in front of the mic, behind the mic, in front of the TV, or behind the camera, the Media Communication Association is who you need to contact. It's going on at Kennedy King College. Hi, I'm Troy Tyler, and I'm here on behalf of Media Communications Association, on behalf of Kennedy King College. This organization teaches you the fundamentals of radio and television. Did I tell you that television was my first love? I really got sidetracked into radio. As a matter of fact, when I was working at a rock station, when they hired me, I was uh, so, I mean, I was just entrenched in news. So when they asked me to be a radio personality, the first thing I said was, I'm a journalist. <laughs> but, they, you know, the thing was, I made out a deal with them that I would go on the air and do middays on their radio station only on one condition. I would have to be able to do the news every hour. So at the top of the hour, I would do the news. And lo and behold, I would always find something that was targeted to a black audience, some kind of way. Whenever I would do the news, I would encompass that in my news report. But as my personality evolved, I eventually stopped doing the news and then I hired somebody else because the station had named me operations manager and program director. So I hired somebody else to do the news. But I have this love of the news. I mean, I'm all over the network, ABC in particular. That's my favorite network. And I watch a lot of CNN and all those news programs because you have to stay abreast of what's going on. That's why it's so important to be a part of an organization like Media Communications Association because they go out and they get behind the scenes of radio and television because there's there's so much going on in front of the camera and then there's a lot going on behind the camera. And that's equally the same situation with radio. 
when I get here, this is the finished product. But there is so much that makes up radio than just my being on the air. And if you are a part of Media Communications Association, you'll find that out. So I wish you guys much success at Kennedy King College. And say hello to my good friend, Marv Dyson. He is truly a gem. I am Herb Kent. And uh, I think it would be a great idea if you're interested in radio or TV to join the uh, KKC Media Communications Club. They do lots of good things in there. They have this lovely lady out here. They've taught her how to use this equipment, and I'm sure that she'll go far. So make sure you do that. If you're interested in radio, I think you should go to college and continue the education there. Thank you. Hello. My name is Al Beard. I'm an account executive at Clear Channel Radio including WGRB Radio, WVAZ, WGCI, WLIT, WNUA, and KISS Radio. I encourage you to join the Media Communications Association at Kennedy King College.